guys, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Camry here with me. Hi guys. We're gonna show you guys how to do the tuxedo braid. This is one I saw a long time ago on red carpet somewhere and I kind of forgotten about it until I got an email this week from one of you re like sending me the picture and I was like, oh yeah, I never did a tutorial on that. So today, that's what we're gonna do. So to begin on this braid, you have to do a little bit of parting. On this one, I had taken it and about right over the top of her eyebrow, kind of like right here, I've taken and done a part line all the way down to the nape of her neck. Then I moved over about two inches, so about the top of her next eyebrow, and did the exact same thing. So what you have is two pigtails, one on either side of her head, and then about a two inch section in the middle of her head that we're leaving loose. So we're gonna take this section and we're gonna begin our braid. So grab that, please. Now, it's up to you at this point whether you do an any braid or so a Dutch braid or a French braid, either one, any or outie. I'm going to do a Dutch braid because I want it to pop just a little bit more. So I'm gonna just do a really tight, like small pieces Dutch braid all the way down. And this is going to become on the tuxedo, kind of like, you know how the old tuxedos had like the ruffles they used to wear underneath? This is what we want it to look like. When you run out of hair at this point, instead of finishing it off with a braid, what I want to do is just secure it with an elastic right here at the nape of the neck because we're going to want these loose ends. Now I'm going to go ahead and pancake it because I really want these pieces to stand out from underneath the braid. Just a little bit more. So you can see the difference after I've pulled those edges tip way back. So you're going from a small braid to a really big puffy braid, which I just think adds to the effect of kind of the ruffles peeking out when we're all finished. When you get to this point, you're gonna go ahead and let the rest of the hair down. You want it to just kind of fall naturally. And her hair has just a tiny bit of, I can see just a little bit of um, static in it. So I'm just gonna spray a really light hairspray, you could do a little tiny bit of finishing wax too, just to kind of help control those flyaways as we go along. I'm gonna take a section right to the side of the braid, up kind of by the crown of her head, on both sides. <clears throat> and I really want them smooth out, so make sure you get them nice and smooth. And you're gonna kind of figure out where your placement is gonna be. I want it to land right about here. So I don't wanna pull it too tight or it's gonna end up too high. I want it a relaxed, like relaxed in my hand so that the hair hangs a little. And I'm gonna divide off a little section off each side and that's gonna become our third strand. So now we have three strands for our braid. You see that? One, two, and three. And we're gonna begin a normal French braid so I'm just gonna be picking up pieces of hair and adding them in, crossing them over. Add in hair. And this is where you want a relaxed hand. This is hard for me because I love tight braids, but you want a really relaxed, loose hand so that these pieces fall through each other very softly. We want a mermaid braid effect here. You can see as I'm going along how loose this is. It's very relaxed in my hand, and I'm just still continuing to add in hair from either side. Now I'm starting to pick up those underneath hairs where before I was mostly working with the top hair. And we're still, I'm even lifting it up off of her neck just a little bit. That way when I let it go, it's gonna settle in really pretty. Because you see how my hand is up a little bit lifted off her neck. That's the effect we want, so we're kind of doing that. And I like to go back and just even tug on this just a little bit more to loosen it up so that this really stands out, that there's a difference between this braid and the bottom braid. This is why I think it looks like a tuxedo is because it kind of looks like the ruffle that a tuxedo has right here in the front and then the jacket where it crosses over and starts laying over the top of those ruffles. And we're finished. Let's go ahead and do the final spin. 
There you go. I just love how it changes from an Audi to an any braid. It's just a little play on a braid, which is kind of fun and different. You guys, if you loved this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up so that we know you liked it. And also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the other videos as we put them up. Now, if you also missed the twins latest video, it's a vlog style video from our spring break trip to Dubai. Yes, what was your favorite part? Uh, the Jeep Safari. I, ooh, I don't know what was my favorite part. I liked the whole thing. But there's a really funny part in the video where it, like Brooklyn's head is like doo -doo 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 -doo, with the music <laughs> that I think is really cool and the lady's hips are like shaking. Yeah. So it's, it's just a funny picture. Anyway, you can check all of that out by clicking right here to check out the entire video of our family's adventure in Dubai. And we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys. Bye. where I want to just make sure that's overemphasized the scaliness of the braid is what we're looking for. What are you doing? What do you have? Come show me. Bugs? What kinds of bugs? Let me see. Let me see. Put your hand out. <gasps> Roly polies? Yeah. How many of them? Oh, that's one. Huh? All six? Yeah. Where'd you find them? Right there.